everyone and welcome back to Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise and we are here in our beautiful little rainy garden today and I have very exciting news our little tiny itty bitty baby Bespotty has now grown up look at him oh isn't it just so cute so the egg hatched right before I started recording and we've got this tiny little one right here it's so adorable what do you think what do you think muffin what do you think of your baby a pinata is being hunted oh my goodness oh my goodness you guys look Oh my gosh! Worm! You're being hunted! Oh, little worm! Oh, oh, cruel world! Oh, it's over. It's over. So what you have just witnessed is our very first hunt, you guys. Well, not the very first one, but the first one I think you guys have, have seen up close and personal. Now, the worms are the prey item of these sparrowments. And what has happened, now that this sparrowment has eaten a little worm, is that it is now a new resident so we've now got a second sparrow mint which i'm so excited about because i really really love these beautiful little ones and i would not mind having a little garden for them too so we'll probably work on trying to breed these guys up in fact i kind of want to name them i'm gonna name you a little one because this is sparrow mint number one the one that we've had before but yes, there's so much going on today. Not only has our baby Baspati egg hatched, it just popped out of there before I could even like get everything rolling so you guys could see it too. And we're gonna name this little experiment, by the way, Cinnamon. And I think we'll name the other one Basil. We'll name the other one Basil, just cause we can. All right, so and we're done with that. And let's see what the encyclopedia has to say about sparrowments, because that is the second big exciting thing that has happened so far already on this rainy, beautiful morning, is that we have managed to get another sparrowment into our little garden, which means that now we can build their house and we can try breeding sparrowment. And sparrowment actually do have a base value. So if you come in, you can see spearmint have a base value of 300. And that means that we could sell those spearmint for about 300 uh, little chocolate coins. And that's actually pretty important. We haven't really done a lot in, that needs money just yet. But if we want to get some of the rare pinatas, we really need a lot of coins so we can buy very specific decorative items to attract them. There's a deer pinata, a beautiful deer pinata that I want to try to attract. So that would be really fun too. Let's see, and our most valuable experiment is cinnamon! So that's fun, their value goes up over time depending on how happy they are, their candiosity, any other th little upgrades you're able to give them over time. So let's see, oh and their romance requirements, ooh we need bluebell seeds in the experiment house to breed them, oh that would be so fun. And what is their information? Alright, here we go. If someone told you they had never seen a spearmint, they must have never opened their eyes or been green with a gray gun, which means basically an alien. Now, if there was a good use for them, well, I think there's a perfectly good use for these spearmint because they are very, very cute. All right, so there's cinnamon. And let's go ahead and we're gonna name this one as well. So let's come down and give you a name, Basil. That's gonna be your name because I think that sounds like a nice, good herb. All right, so there's basil, and now we'll have our two experiments. So we'll work on breeding them in just a little bit because I think that would be a lot of fun. All right, and back to the garden. And in other news, this baby Baspati is at max candiosity, just hatched, and ready to go off to that mission that we have, the party mission that we are trying to take on. So we're going to put it here in our little crate, load it up. There you go, cutie patootie. When you come back, I'll give you a name. So we have Cupcake and Muffin. So maybe we'll name this one Cookie. Because I think we said that last time. Cookie just sounds like a really cute name for the Baspati. Congratulations on romancing your Baspatis. You breezed through that. Well, it looks like you have most of the basics. Please visit me for some more challenges. You just need to go into the garden, village menu. Okay, yep, we can work with that. Langston, we are so happy. Thank you so much for allowing me to work on these challenges. Whoop, okay. We're like watching it again. Are we sending off another pinata? Or is it just because I said we would look at his challenge? Yeah, it's because I said we'd look at his challenge. That's what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and clear his little challenge out. And so this is our garden in its current state. And it is kind of just a random little mess. You know, I wouldn't mind selling sweep. I think we're going to sell sweep for now because I just don't really need um, this little guy. 
So sweep, you're adorable, but I'm gonna sell you. And I kind of want to take away the sand that's at the back here by putting short grass back down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring some nice, nice grass. Kind of tidying our garden up a little bit. And I want to make kind of a little bit spotty. And now we're going to put this away. I want to make a bigger garden is what one of my goals is. So what kind of seeds can we buy? Let's check it out. Ooh, there's a mystery seed. Yeah. I want to plant some mystery seeds. I feel like we need a proper place to plant mystery seeds, though. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Oh, there's a daisy seed. Let's plant some more daisy seeds over here. Oh, and there's Cedos. Maybe we can talk to him. All right, there's Daisy Seed. That's Mystery Seed. Um, we'll go ahead and let's see. Let's put this away. We'll plant the Mystery Seeds over here. So let's get our shovel out and dig some holes. And different seeds and different plants. And there's like fruit trees you can grow and everything. And the different seeds and plants will let us attract different pinatas to our garden. So let's go ahead. Seed bag, seed bag, mystery. Buy and plant, mystery seed. In you go. So now we've got one mystery seed. I wonder if it's an onion or a turnip. I bet it's a turnip. All right, we're gonna plant this mystery seed. Right there. And we're gonna plant this mystery seed. Right there. And I think that's all the mystery seeds that we've got so far. So let's see, yep, it's a turnip. And a carrot and a buttercup, how fun. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get our little watering can out. I want to make sure, oh, hey, Leafus. She's coming over to see our little, our little garden. Oh, the turnip just popped right out of the ground. I didn't expect that. Award for growing a turnip, yay. All right. Oh, and the, the carrot just popped right out of the ground too. So there's nobody that we can really, like, give these to just yet, so I'm just gonna leave these out and see what happens. And, and Cupcake's just like, what's this? Also, I think we can have Candiosity on these guys go up higher and higher when we feed them. So I wanna kinda try feeding our Bespotty. But not daisies, cause, oh! <gasps> you guys, it's a mouse mallow! Oh, look at it! Oh, it's the cutest thing in the world! Oh, Mouse Mellow! Oh, Mouse Mellow! Come to my garden! I want Mouse Mellows! Good news! You have attracted a Mouse Mellow! This little pinata must have smelled a turnip in your garden! Oh, I'm so excited! Come eat my turnip! Come eat my turnip, little Mouse Mellow! Alright, so let's see. Um, <gasps> A bunny comb! Look at it! Look at its cute self! Oh, look at him! It must have smelled the carrot! Did you see that bunny come up here? He must be able to smell the carrot in your garden. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. Alright. Oh, there's the mouse mellow. What are your requirements to join our little family, little one? Oh, I can't reach him just yet. And we've grown the buttercup. Hello, little buttercup. You're very pretty. Alright, now that does remind me though. Oh, and there's the bunny comb. Right over there. That does remind me, we did have a dark pinata, which is kind of like a bad pinata, showing up. Oh, the worm and Leafos are just having a good time. What does Leafos have to say? The journal has lots of information about how to do everything. It contains all the things I've discovered while living here on the island. Thank you, Leafos. There's worms coming. Hello, little mouse mellow. What kind of information can I get about you? Um, let's see, resident requirements. Mouse Mellow. My crazy grandmother always said, Number one, Mouse Mellows are never bigger than the gap under the pantry door. Number two, never fall for the blind routine. And number three, never trust a Mouse Mellow wearing pants. <laughs> That's adorable. So to get it to appear, you need to have a turnip in the garden. To get it to visit, you need to have a turnip in the garden. To get it to be a resident, you need to have one turnip. And to have it to romance, you need to have one yam that it can eat, and it needs to have a mouse mellow house. So noted, okay. And actually that reminds me, we need bluebells, I think, for, ooh, look at all this. There's different characters. Oh, different plants. There's information on all the different seeds and plants. Buttercups, daisies, poppies. Oh, I love having this kind of information to flip through. I, I'm one of the people who loves having like lots and lots and lots of encyclopedia, a uh, little content to dig through. 
Oh, look at all of it. Does it say anything about the turnip seed? Oh, you get an up-close view of the turnip seed. This purple and cream seed looks like a vegetable royalty. That's adorable. But I love reading through all the different stuff to bring the world to life. It's so much fun. So here's information about the vegetables, carrots, and turnips. The last time I saw something this swollen and purple, I had slammed my thumb on the door. Interesting. Oh, and there's different surface requirements for the different plants. I'm going to have to remember that. So plants need to be planted in grass or in soil. Noted. So we won't want to... We won't want to plant the plants just anywhere. And then really quickly, if I want to breed... See, we had a, a sour shelly bean show up yesterday. Um, but thankfully, it didn't do anything. I think it went away. But those guys can come in, they can wreck your garden, they can plant bad seeds that grow uh, that grow things that can hurt or kill your pinatas. So you have to really chase the sour shelly beans away. But I think there's also ways where you can get the sour pinatas and you can actually tame them so that they become happy and they become normal pinatas. So we might consider that if I want to breed my little sparrow mints. Um, and cinnamon is my most valuable spearmint right now. Then we need to get bluebell seeds, and we don't have that just yet, so I imagine we need to earn some more points. So let's go ahead, go back to the garden. There we go. So you, my little friend, just need some turnips. Ooh, we got an award for something. What did we get a little award for? Award for growing a buttercup. Yay! Well, that's awesome. Whoops, no, I want to clear it. There we go. And then, where is Pinata returned? Yay! So our little baby has returned. Oh, and we need two carrots to have this little one become a resident. So I want a bunny comb too. So let's plant some more carrots. Because getting a bunny comb would be really nice. Where's our little baby biscotti? If it just returned. There's cupcake. There's muffin. Where's my baby biscotti? Is it, is it stuck in the crate still? Um, not yet. We could probably open up more challenges. Is it in the house? Is that where my little, my little cookie is? Cookie's not here. Cookie, where are you? Oh, we have a mouse mellow visitor. Look at it, look at it. Oh, this is so exciting. Here we are at level 5. Doesn't it seem just like 5 minutes ago you had just begun? Luddy has some new paving in stock as well as some decorative items to use in the garden. More importantly, she has a watering can upgrade that will save you some time. Make sure you talk to Cedos too. He has a couple of new seeds. Just 6 levels until your garden size increases. Yay! Oh, and look at this little one. I think that it's going to be out. <gasps> look, 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 look. Oh, he's eating the, the little turnip. Oh, are you such a cute mouse? Oh, are you going to join our little family? <gasps> you guys, we have a new resident, and it's an adorable little mouse. A mouse mellow. Look at you. Well, well, welcome to the family. I hope you've enjoyed your turnips. Oh, and the potty are excited. Hey, Cupcake, where is your kid? Oh my gosh, so much new, new stuff. Whoops, all right. So we've got an award for the resident. Got a new resident. We just leveled up. Uh, cocoon information. A baby pinata is ready to grow up. The baby goes into a cocoon where it will grow into its adult size. When you have grown it, it will hatch out as a young adult. If you get impatient, you can give it some encouragement with your shovel. I'm not going to smack a little pinata baby cocoon with my shovel. That just doesn't seem polite at all. So that is good to know. So view target. Aha! There's Cookie, you guys! Alright, we found where Cookie is hiding! So Cookie... Uh, I'm gonna put away my shovel so I don't alarm you. Cookie is inside this little pinata cocoon! And look how cute it is with the little drawings on the sides! Oh, that's adorable! So this is where Cookie's hiding. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. And I need to get out more seeds. Has Cedos introduced us to any more seeds in here yet? Turnip, carrot, buttercup, daisy, not yet. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I want to I want to buy more seeds. Oh, it won't let me, darn. I wonder why, because I, I need to plant more carrots and turnips. Uh, let's go visit Lottie real quickly. And Lottie, hello. We'll see what kind of special item she has, because I want to start tidying things up. Oh, if it isn't the new gardener in town, you're guaranteed a warm welcome at Costalot's store. Alright, so we can sell things and we can buy things from her store. 
Let's go ahead. There's different fruits and vegetables and pavings and seeds and candy, fences, produce, watering can upgrades, garden items, and all of these things you can use, like the produce and um, all of the seeds, all of those things you can use to try to attract different pinatas into your garden. And I'm kind of curious. Let's look at the candy. So you can have happy candy and you can have romance candy. And romance candy, I think, gets your pinatas passed to the romance requirements. So you don't have to like go through the process of growing things and feeding it to them. Whereas the happy candy, uh, I think, just makes your candiosity go way high. So that's pretty interesting. All right, so let's go back. And there's lots of different fencing types. Oh, right now we just have the boring wire fence. Boo. Let's see. There's hollyberry fruit. I wonder if I can plant that. Watering can upgrade, huh? Can I afford that? I can. I don't... Mm. Okay, we'll go ahead and buy it. Thanks! I wish I could replace all faulty items, but I kind of don't. <laughs> Thanks, Lottie. There's different pavings, and we can put all of these down. There's disco paving, oh my gosh, and cobblestone. I really like just the plain stone paving that you can put throughout your garden so you can make it nice and tidy. And let's see what kind of seed she has. So we've got buttercup, daisy, carrot, and turnip. So it seems like she'll sell whatever seeds are available from Cedos. Produce, honey, which can attract, I imagine, some bees of some kind. There's the turnips. Oh, and you can buy yams from her too. Good to know. So if we didn't want to grow our own carrots, we could just buy them from her. And finally, the garden items to decorate our area with. Ooh, <gasps> ornamental stones. There's a, an old bolt, a, some piles of leaves, a stove. I like this hollow log a lot. So that's your thing, is it? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. And we can kind of rotate it. Look at how cute it is. A little hollow log. I like it. Oh, that's totally my thing. All right. I think I'm just going to put it back here. Yeah, I'm just going to put it back here. I wonder if they'll play with it. Hello, little worm. Boink. All right, and in fact, I think I'll put down a second one. So it looks like the little tree kind of broke right over here. And I'm done shopping. There we go, so that's how we can upgrade. <gasps> and our cocoon hatched! Oh, Cedos, you're here too! Where'd Cookie go? Hello, Cedos, I need to talk to you. Oh, there's Cookie! Some pinatas prefer eating seeds to the plants they grow. Good to know, Cedos. Also, a new seed, new seed, new seed. <gasps> new seed, a new mystery seed. Let's go ahead and plant it. See what it is. It's another carrot. Oh, thank you, Cedos. So we have a second carrot. Let's go ahead. And with our wonderful upgrade, we can go ahead and water our little carrot. There we go. I, I want to make a little vegetable garden. Oh, the little cupcake's like smelling it now. That's adorable. All right. Anything else, Cedos? Seeds are very important, and there will be no plants, and then the pinatas won't have anything to eat. Good point. Oh, wow, so every time we talk to him, he's going to give us... <gasps> now that's a turnip seed. Oh, look, we have a little bunny comb visitor. Oh, this is so exciting. It has to eat two carrots. Go, little carrot, go. Grow faster. Grow faster, little carrot. Then I could have a bunny comb. That would be awesome. All right, gonna water this turnip a little bit. I don't. You don't want to overwater them though, because that'll make them. That'll make them just go poof too. All right. What do you think, Cedos? Am I doing a good job? Can you give me bluebell seeds? You have to be a very special person to look after seeds. I agree. More seeds? Oh, this is so fun. Oh, what's this? Ooh, you're different. Cedos, did you give me... Oh, it's a yam! Okay, so he gave me a little yam seed. Oh, and look at how all the flowers open up as the daytime comes. Oh, that's so fun. Well, all right, we're still working on trying to attract our bunny comb. I think we're going to need to make a really big... <gasps> Are we going to get the bunny comb? Are we going to get the bunny comb? Come on, buddy. You've already eaten one of my carrots. I have a second carrot. Oh, I don't think we're going to get him this time, but we will try to attract a bunny comb to us. Uh, we already have the adorable little mouse mellow, and I think we'll try to organize the garden and kind of move things around, maybe sell some of the paving so we can get a good little um, 
a good little spearmint house built because I really want to breed up some spearmints because I think that would be awesome. And finally, let's come over here and let's go ahead and name Cookie because Cookie is our third Bisplotty. And we might actually be able to sell Cookie in the future after Cookie goes out on a few more missions or has max candiosity. And Cookie will be worth more than your usual pinata. So let's see, how Cookie, does it say how much you're worth right now? It doesn't say how much right now. But if we go to the encyclopedia, let's check really quickly. Oh, Cookie is worth the most. Look at that. That's amazing. And I think that is actually because Cookie was hatched here in our garden. So we need to make a special label for Cookie too. And we'll do that in the future. But alright guys, our garden is growing wonderfully. Our baby Bespotty has gone off to the party, come back and grown. We have a little mouse mellow. In fact, I think, can we have the mouse mellow eat the little turnip? Go ahead, enjoy! Oh, the mouse mellow is eating the little turnip. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and a plant is drying out, so we need to take care of the yam. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, there we go. And we'll do a nice long pour for the poor yam. Now we've got Flutterscotches visiting. Whoops, 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 overwatering, overwatering. Oh dear, it is a little bit hard to garden. <laughs> but all right, I will see you guys next time. We will continue growing our garden and we will try getting some things set up so we can have our spearmint little breeding house back here and maybe get a proper flower garden around the Bespotty house. If only I could shift the way the Bespotty house is built, that would be very, very nice. I need to pay more attention to that in the future. And we'll take on some more challenges. So we have just barely started to see the huge variety of pinatas that exist in the world. And I can't wait to keep exploring it with you guys. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.